Hello. Today's episode, I'm going to preview two of the hardest setters in boxing as they come face to face in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia for a redemption fight. Deontay, the bronze bomber wilder from America, would be coming face to face with his Chinese opponent, Jili Big Bang Zhang. This is a redemption fight for both men as they lost their last bout to Joseph Parker, the New Zealander. Parker beat Deontay via a unanimous decision and managed a majority decision against Jili Big Bang Zhang. Anyone who wins this fight can come back into title contention and have a chance of winning a war title. So that is what they are fighting for, whilst the loser would virtually become a gatekeeper in the heavyweight division. Both men, being as competitive as they are, would not like to be a gatekeeper in the heavyweight division. As Giotti, the bronze bomber Wilder, has said, if he loses this fight, that signifies that he no longer has it and he may go ahead and say goodbye to the sports of boxing. If he wins, then the quest continues. He may fight Gerald Anderson or have an opportunity to compete with Anthony A.J. Joshua. So, this fight, there is a lot at stake. And first, let me go into the strength and weaknesses of Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder has that uh, devastating one-punch power. And that punch power can last all throughout the 12 rounds as he has been able to knock out people in the later rounds of fight. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder is also the faster man of the two and has the hand speed advantage. As he, despite having the right hand, he also has a very powerful left hook that accompanies him in the ring. And he jabs to the body very well and that can also be an advantage in this particular fight as Jili Zhang does not like being punched to the body as it ends up reducing his energy in the later rounds. With the weakness of Deontay the Bronze Mamba Wilder, he is poor defensively and is always open to counter. He is reckless and when he has to hit, he starts throwing the windmill and that leaves him quite open. His inability to move very, very well in the ring would be a disadvantage in this fight and his skill as a boxer is quite limited. And for Jili Zhang, he is um, the most skillful fighter of the two. He also has that devastating left hand that can put you out anytime in any round and you know who can attest to that, Joe Joyce. He also has a devastating right hook that knocked down Joe Joyce and he applies a lot of pressure at the start of the fight. Now, with the disadvantage of Jang, he's unable to move side to side as he always moves in straight line, which is very good for someone like Deontay, the bronze bomber wilder, because you don't give him anything to think about. If you start moving in straight line, you become a straightforward target for him. Zhang does not have a good gas tank and ends up fading out in the later rounds, which is also good for Deontay, the bronze bomber wilder, who has the better stamina of the two. Zhang also has slow feet and is unable to use his legs as a form of defense and as a form of attack. So that is also an advantage for Deontay, the bronze bomber wilder. Now let's take a look at the tail of the tape where it is interesting as both men are at the latter stages of their career. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder is 38 years. Julie Zhang is 40 years. Zhang stands at 6 foot 6 whilst Wilder is an inch taller 6 foot 7. Zhang has a reach of 80 inches whilst Wilder boasts of a reach of 83 inches. The record of Zhang is 26 fights, 2 losses, 1 draw, whilst Wilder's record is 43 fights, 3 losses, and 1 draw. Wilder is an octodos fighter, whilst Zhang 
is a southpaw, making it an interesting matchup, and and uh, like we had about two weeks ago between the undisputed Usek and former champion Tyson Fury. So let's see how this fight play out, and I'm going to tell you how I think the fight will pan out. Because Zhang has a very slow tank, he will start he, he will start this fight on a very high note trying to pressure Wilder backwards and pin him to the ropes in order to weaken him and knock him out within the first four rounds. Whilst Wilder would be moving side to side in the uh, side to side in the first few rounds, but Wilder not being a skillful fighter would be caught at a point in time and hurt in the first three rounds. But he wouldn't be knocked down, but that would be a rude awakening for him. Whilst doing the whilst applying pressure, Wilder would be throwing some jabs to the body of Zhang that would be taking away his energy in the rounds. Then, whilst uh, Zhang begins to fade in the fifth and sixth round, Wilder starts jabbing, jabbing, jabbing him and measuring him and starts landing the straight right hand of his own. But at the beginning, Zhang takes its wall. But whilst doing this, Wilder must keep moving to the left because Zhang is a southpaw. Wilder must keep moving to the left and holding his left hand high because he equally has a right hook that cannot kill. So you should always hold your left hand in order to prevent him throwing the right hook whilst you move to the left in order to keep him reset and you should and wilder whilst starting the fight on a slow note shouldn't make it a one-way a one-way traffic he should also keep throwing and also the uppercut that would make zhang think twice before coming in whilst zhang is applying pressure and that would slow zhang down a little bit because when he throws the uppercut and it lands zhang would know that he would be in a, a, a big trouble so Jean would be hesitant with his pressure. But if Wilder does not throw the uppercuts, he would have trouble in the first few rounds with the pressure of Jean. But for Wilder, after he navigates the first five rounds, he should start applying constant pressure and still be wary of the left hand. But by this time, the energy level of Jean would have dropped. He would have been much slower. His feet would have been much slower. And his movement would be slower, making him a stationary target. And then Wilder begins to land the right hand. And I believe by the seventh round, Wilder would be able to get Zhang out of there with a devastating knockout that would reintroduce him to the world and remind the world who Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder is. And that may set up a fight against Anthony A.J. Joshua at Wembley, provided the winner of uh, Dubois and Philip Hegovic does not make it. Yeah. So all these are options open to Wilder. And I think that he would be able to deliver that devastating knockout that re-announces him to the world. So I'm predicting around seven knockouts for Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder. Let me know your take in the comment section. I'm not subscribed up to this point you know what to do hit the subscribe button press the bell icon express your views in the comment section and share so others can enjoy thank you stay positive